Go to your mailbox and you guessed it, you find junk mail. Or is it? Sometimes it's hard to tell. As 2 News Oklahoma problem solver Pete Knutson tells us, ignoring it can be costly. As scammers work in the shadows, it's difficult these days to tell the difference between what's real and a scam. So we got the notice of the bogus check complaint from the uh, district attorney's office in Claremore. That's Caleb Lee, who lives in Edmond, just outside Oklahoma City. He hasn't been to Claremore or anywhere close in years, he says, which is why he wondered if that letter was a fake. So I was pretty confused by it at first, for sure. The letter says he wrote a $393 bogus check at a Catoosa grocery store back in January. With fees and fines, he now owed $637. Plus, the letter states, there could be jail time. So yeah, it was pretty, pretty intimidating for sure. At first, pretty, you know, worrying. So Caleb says he tried to get through to the Rogers County DA's office. You know, they weren't willing to work with me at first. I really had to like press the DA's office to give me anything on it. I had to call you know, several times. Um, I probably called them six, seven times. Just getting someone in their office on the phone is difficult just because it sounds like they have a lot of these that go out or that they do this a lot. Eventually, Caleb found out the letter was indeed real. And while Caleb says the office wouldn't give him a copy of the bogus check, he was told what bank it was written on. Caleb says he never had an account with that bank, but went to a local branch to double check to see if there was an account with his name on it which he says there wasn't. Strangely, Caleb learned, the address on the fake check was nearly identical to his parents' address when they lived in Catoosa many years ago. So Caleb sent the DA a copy of his driver's license. Somebody had enough information um, to be a little bit um, correct, but he was able to get us some information that we were able to verify um, and resolve uh, um, his case. Caleb was off the hook, Rogers County DA Matt Ballard tells us. He says he takes the job of finding bogus check writers seriously. Not only does the victim lose money, in this case a grocery store, it can also mean higher prices for all of us as that cost is passed along. As for Caleb's case, DA Ballard says he was right to contact his office instead of putting it off, hoping it would go away, or in spite of thinking it could be a scam. We're really fortunate in this case that within just a, about a day, we were able to verify that he didn't write that check. Certainly, Caleb says he's relieved and says in hindsight, the case was resolved quicker than it felt at the time. But he wishes it was easier to contact the investigators in the office and that he felt guilty until he proved otherwise. And about that letter. I just wish the, the letter that sent out was like less intimidating. That was, I don't know, maybe it explained more. Um, I mean, it, it feels like a letter from a you know a debt collector or something, or like a loan shark. The DA recommended that Caleb file a police report since it appears he may be the victim of a scammer who stole his identity. Luckily, so far, Caleb says, there haven't been any other signs that his information has been stolen. Pete Knutson, 2 News Oklahoma, Problem Solvers.